guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching The Legend of Korra. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episodes 7 and 8 of season 2 of The Legend of Korra. I am ready for our animators to be back. That's like the first thing that like... I, I need I need to see I need to see people look the way they're supposed to. But story wise, um, you know, Cora and Mako broke up, not upset. Uh, but Cora might not even remember that breakup because she seems to have amnesia. Um, and she was found by the Fire Nation, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. But also it was mentioned that uh, you know, General Iroh was going to talk to his grandfather and his mother. Um, who I guess is Fire Lord. So uh, his grandfather seems to be somebody that I'm excited to meet again. He's like an old friend, probably. Like, look at how cute he is. He probably doesn't look that cute anymore. Oh, he's probably old. An old Zuko. Oh, just knowing that like some of these characters reached a long, happy life happy-ish, hopefully. <laughs> I, I assume happy if he has a child and a grandchild. Uh, that must bring him some form of joy. Hopefully he's sipping tea in a tea house somewhere. <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, Cora went down with the spirit. There was an angry spirit that took her underwater while she was fighting Eska and Eska's brother. I don't bother remembering his name because I don't think they, I think they said it once. Begins with a D of some sort. <laughs> Eska's unforgettable. Uh, but when Korra gets taken down, uh, she seems to have amnesia. But we then also saw Unalak coming out of the spirit world when the twins got back. So I don't know if he was up to something, if he made that happen, if he was orchestrating. He did seem surprised that they didn't have Korra uh, with them. So I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, we need to figure out how to get her memory back. Um, which I think a trip back into the spirit world would be fantastic. I'm, because it's the Book of Spirits, I just, like, want her to, like, go and talk to everyone that's in there, except Ko. Obviously, except Ko. It's been a long time. Never Ko. Ko bad. It's been a long time since I've added a child's face to my collection. No go Ko. We'll meet again. Mm -mm. But <laughs> Varric, that rat bastard Varric. I I don't know. Mm, he seemed pretty devious. What he was up to, what he was doing. Um, I wasn't happy about it. Uh, I'm I'm I I don't like Asami being manipulated by anybody, and she's at like this very desperate moment where. You know, her, her father's in jail, her mother is dead, her ex-boyfriend may or may not be interested in, in her. Um, it seems like he's kind of not interested in anything, that he's kind of fresh from a breakup, uh, which is good. I don't I don't think either one of them need that noise right now. Um, and then, you know, she just saw Future Industries practically go under, and then it was all at the hands of Varric, who essentially took everything out of the warehouse and let her kind of sign over her business to him. That does not sit well with me at all. Um, I thought Varric was a good guy. I thought he was on our side. Now, uh, could they have like some like reveal? I I'm not sure. Uh, I, I want to like him, but now I'm very guarded. And once you lose my trust, it's really hard to get it back. I'll always be giving you the side eye. So I don't know about that guy. Uh, Bolin has a flourishing acting career. <laughs> Is he good? I don't know, but he looks great in a loincloth. So... Good for you, Bolin. <laughs> Good for you. Everybody needs a thing. Everybody needs a thing. They, you need something that you're passionate about. He seems to enjoy the process. A um, little too much for Ginger's liking. I uh, wasn't very happy about him sneaking a kiss. Always talk to somebody before you kiss them. Always. Always. Surprise kisses? That could be one of these right in the snout. Uh, at least from me. <laughs> no surprise kisses. Not good. Uh, so... I don't know the the pyrotechnics being linked back to Varric and and everything. I don't I don't know. Obviously, Varric is from the South, and he made this propaganda film to kind of bolster up the South Side 
South Side, the South Side of the Civil War, and to make the North look bad. And I, I, obviously, he was behind all of the attacks in the city. And uh, where does Mako go from here, right? Because he just got kicked out of Lynn's office. Lynn kind of like really laid into him. There's a lot of yelling. I'm, I'm not really appreciating the difference between season one Lynn and season two Lynn. I can definitely see um, there was such high quality in season one of all the characters in the story, minus like the love triangle, which you know what, if not everything's going to be perfect and it's not all made just for me, it's made for a, a, a grand audience. And I totally get that and I understand. Um, but it just seems like I get the quality dip in season two. I can see it visually with the animation. I can feel it with the character representation and kind of like who they are and kind of how things are a little different. Like her yelling at Mako the way that she did um, is weird. I didn't really like that. Her kind of saying that, like, you should have seen uh, <laughs> the the the, the uh, Airbender Island, Air Air Temple Island, Air something, whatever. When her and Tenzin broke up, yes, I would like that story. Thank you. Um, but yeah, some of the representations of the characters this season are a little different. And you know, Cora was storming around, stomping around. She was pretty angry at the beginning of the season, rightfully so. I get it. Um, but the girl really needs to learn to, like, reel back the urge to fight and, and to put up a fight and get physical. And, you know, destroying Mako's desk was like, ah, that is a breakup-worthy offense in my book. You don't let people get away with that behavior. And so, like, I feel like breaking up is a good idea. I don't think they should be together. Um, but I also think that, like, you know, she's going to learn and grow from a lot of these experiences. No one does anything perfect the first time. We know that. Um, but I, I, I would like for her to kind of be a little bit more inward and think about things first. And I'll say that I've had to learn that lesson because in my younger years, uh, I didn't have a filter. I would just say whatever came to mind. And as like somebody, you know, who's, you know, five foot one and almost a hundred pounds back in my like early like twenties, you know, like I was just like, what are you going to do? Hit me. You know, like, like I, I was pretty invincible in my own mind. And I think that she's kind of in that state as well of like, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it loud and I'm going to say it fierce. and I'm going to get my point across and then I'll physically make you do it. And I think you learn over time that that's not the way you treat people. That's not the way you behave. That's not the way to get what you want ultimately. And I think um, it's it's going to be a lesson that she's going to have to learn uh probably by getting her butt kicked, by getting amnesia, by having to like do the th wrong thing so many times that she's like, maybe there is a better way. And I think that that's life and that's learning. So I'm, I'm looking forward to her getting over this hump of, you know, fight first, ask questions later, um, especially just arguing with the president, just like yelling at him and then doing stuff behind his back. It kind of put General Iroh in a weird position. Um, so, you know, I, I do question the writing in this season. And I'm not saying that everyone's right that this is like a crap season because I don't think it is. Um, but I, I definitely can see the difference between season one compared to this. Um, and, you know, at the, at the end of the season, I'll definitely think back of it as a standalone season and just be like, what did I think of it? Without all the other information as a whole, what did I think? And I think the addition of Varric has been great. Um, I think Bolin's character kind of getting away from pro bending and, and finding another thing that he's passionate about is fantastic. He's not the smartest person in the show. <laughs> I, I really wanted him to kind of be our Sokka where he's like not only intelligent, but like he's also our comic relief and sadly he's just kind of our comic relief but uh, i think varick is actually incredibly intelligent and our comic relief but i don't think that he's a Sokka by any means mm. and i really like that we're getting growth out of tenzin and his family and you know him working with with milo uh to kind of train the lemurs and like realizes that he created a monster which i think i don't think that's creating a monster necessarily but like at least you know the kid could be a leader and that's really rare at the age of five to find is like someone that puts in the effort to do the work and like you see the result of it and it's like, whoa, that's amazing. But also go be a kid. <laughs> Just go play with your lemur and have fun. Don't worry about training them. I think that's a real smart idea. You know, Iki kind of being the middle child and experiencing the teasing from the younger brother and the older sister and kind of just seeking refuge somewhere else and kind of 
creating friends herself and then, you know, her and Tenzin having the conversations about like, you know, siblings aren't perfect and there's so many great qualities that they have, even though there's qualities that drive you crazy. And Tenzin learning that about his own siblings and about his own father not being perfect. I think if we were to think Aang was perfect, that then he's not that great of a character and knowing that he is flawed even in in his older years uh, i think that that just kind of adds to it and you know that's the kind of the same thing that we're getting with cora is that she's not a perfect character she is not the perfect hero she is very flawed and i think that when you have those flaws there's room to grow and i absolutely love that about this show because it really does showcase that uh, so I'm super excited to watch these last, the second half episodes of season two, because uh, one, animators, <laughs> we got them back. So hopefully uh, I see just a little bit more quality in these two episodes animation wise, but uh, the music's been killing it. And story wise, I'm really wanting to figure out uh, what Unalak is up to and and ultimately like he said that he does need her to open up the portal to the north but was kind of telling her that like oh I don't need you to do that don't worry about it um I don't really know what kind of reverse psychology that is because she's going to be like oh yeah I'm going to prove that you do need me I don't I don't know if that's how that would would have worked <laughs> wouldn't have worked on me I'd have been like all right figure it out yourself bye um so uh, uh, really what what his end game is for everything I don't I don't know if he's necessarily a bad guy but he's not great at how he's going about trying to get what he wants and I don't know if it's ultimately about power or if it is kind of like helping the south but when you're holding people to their homes and not letting them leave ports and all that like that's that's incredibly dangerous and it's an inhuman way to treat people. And I, I definitely think he's going about it the wrong way, but I also don't know what his ultimate intention is either. And again, you get that with character growth because everyone's flawed and then they either grow or they show their true colors. And it's like, well, that's just who you are. So <laughs> we'll see when it comes to Unalak. But guys, I'm super excited to get into these episodes. So let's get into it. We're not going to do do the thing because I don't know what to think of Eric. Trust, gone, or mildly limited. To be continued. <laughs> she is washed up on a desolate island with no memory of who she is. Oh, she going to learn. Beginnings part one. Oh, it's a part one and part two. <laughs> Those are typically good ones. We found the Avatar washed up on shore, but she doesn't remember anything. Rava. Rava? What's Rava? <gasps> A dark energy has infected her. We must purge it before it destroys her Avatar spirit. Yes. She has a dark spirit in her? Let the waters cleanse the darkness that plagues your spirit. Oh. Avatar state? No. Oh god. Oh god. Well, that's pretty. <laughs> Who are you? I am you. Who am I? You are the Avatar. I don't know what that is. What? Oh, it's a long road. In order to remember, you must regain your connection <laughs> with your Avatar spirit. I love Roku. Don't. Darkness will engulf that's my girl. That's my girl. You will die, and our era will end. No, no, no. How do I regain my connection? Yeah, let's do that. Go back. Find Rava. What's Rava? Is that like the first Avatar? Who's that? Are you Rava? No, but I can help you find her. My name is Juan, and I will show you how I became the first Avatar. First Avatar one? Juan was cute and he was powerful Avatar. Come on. Nobody steals from the two brothers. Really? Because I just did. <laughs> You're dead, Juan. Actually, I feel quite alive. <laughs> ah! Oh gosh. Shaky cam for animation. That was a bit much. Oh, oh, gross. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Hey, fellas. You're just in time for what? Oh! Is that Steve Yoon? Totally sounds like him. 
I told you no one steals from us. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I don't know what's worse, the poop or the mud. Because it's probably not just mud. Where is this? <sighs> Did you steal from the chews again? And I got nothing to show for it except a few dirty rolls and a whole lot of bruises. Hey, Yao, I got some food for you. Oh! Oh! Mmm, delicious! Thank you, one. Oh, he's so happy, even though he's part tree. I think. I don't know. You guys are hungry too, huh? One, you should eat. They need it more than I do. Besides, I'm tired of eating scraps. If only there was some way to get into the Chew's food cellar, we'd be eating like, well, like Chew's. No, like Chew's. If Chew the Elder catches you sneaking into his palace, you'll end up dead. Or worse, he'll banish you to the spirit wilds. What are the spirit wilds? You don't want nothing to do with those spirits. They'll get inside you, scramble up your mind, turn you into this a monster. Oh, I think you're cool. You just gotta accept the world is the way it is. Some people have power, some people don't. And you don't. Not yet, apparently. Not yet, anyway. Oh! <laughs> Do you have what it takes to battle the spirits? Then join the hunt! Count me in. <laughs> you wouldn't last two seconds. How do you know? We all get fire, right? Yeah, but do you know how to use it? Not exactly, but I... Ah, oh, let him come. Not like we got any other volunteers lining up. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Welcome to the hunt. What does that mean, we all get fire? Like a torch? Or like they're able to like give them bending? Is bending a thing yet? I like those volcanoes. Oh wow! The lion. Turned. Yeah. Great guardian of our city, we are venturing into the spirit wilds to bring back food for our people. Please grant us the power of fire. The power is yours to keep until your return. Your first kid. Wow. May the element of fire protect you against the spirits. Holy crap, this is so cool! Just make sure you aim at the spirits, not us. It's a very good point. You might want to work on that. Practice. The lion turtle! Oh my gosh! I love when they connect things like that. I don't think I can do this. I knew you were nothing but a sniveling coward. Go give your fire back to the lion turtle. And don't ever show your face around me again. Is it a trick? <laughs> yep. Juan, you're back. What goodies did you snatch for us this time? <gasps> <laughs> I mean, that would be scary the first you time. Steal from the lion turtle? Really? Because I just did. Ah, uh, yeah, I wouldn't steal from the lion turtle either. But I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, how do you how do you give it back? You know, it's forbidden to bring the power of the element into the city. Go back to the lion turtle and return the fire. It's time to stop being so afraid of the chews and show them we have the power to change things. Open the gate and let us in. What are those filthy peasants doing here? Look how fat these people are. Don't worry, father. We'll take care of them. They're eating well. That's annoying. Hand over all the food you're hoarding and we won't give you any trouble. You're not getting past us. We have the weapons. You're powerless. Mm. Powerless, huh? Follow me. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I would never have guessed that the avatar started out this way. Grab as much food as you can. Maybe you're right. Maybe we do have the power to change things. Stop right there! Looks like the juice found backup. I mean, I know the avatar is to bring balance, and there's definitely an imbalance. Have mercy! Don't do it. Even when you have the power, you're afraid to use it. <sighs> That's good, though. You shouldn't want to kill. You are hereby banished. And give back the fire you stole. Great Lion Turtle, I am sorry for stealing the fire from you, and I accept my punishment. Okay, good. But please, I need to be able to protect myself in the wilds. Never again 
May you return to this city. But I will allow you to keep the power of the element. Compassionate, I like that. But how does he become the Avatar? I mean, obviously he's going into the spirit wilds, so the spirits have something to do with it. Bet he doesn't last till morning. It's really interesting the animation that they're using in this episode, especially for like the fire, like how there's like a swirl to it and like the clouds look like they're very drawn out. Hey, watch where you're stepping, human. Who said that? Down here. Yeah, look down. How would you like it if I started walking all over you? You're just a little frog. Ah. Uh, yeah. Who's little mouth? <laughs> Is that a spirit? Is he high? Oh, that's awful. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Interesting. I actually like the spirit wilds. You know, as long as I survive. Oh, I was gonna say the grass might eat you and <laughs> then it started to eat him. Oh. Somebody fighting for food. I don't really, I wouldn't eat that. I don't really blame them for. Get off me! For stealing the power of fire from the lion turtle. Oh god, how did he survive that? Anyway. <laughs> Is that an oasis? Ooh. You are not welcome in my oasis, human. Please. I'm starving and I haven't slept all night. Not my problem. Let me pass. You dare use fire against me? Oh, oh. Now be gone with you! <laughs> what is this thing? Oh. Oh. Are they just chilling in the oasis, like using like the hot tub? <laughs> Are you gonna pretend to be something? Yeah. <laughs> I am Bushy, the bush spirit, <laughs> and I would like to enter your oasis. Very well, you may pass. Oh no. Wait a second. I knew I smelled a human. Oh. Well, at least you're in the water. Take a drink. Go back to your lion turtle. I'd love to go back home, but I can't. I was kicked out. That's too bad. Poor human. Don't pity him. What are these he spirits? Like every other human, ugly, destructive, and lacking any respect for nature. Mm. Who are you calling ugly, ugly? That's not nice. I think he's cute. If you can't go back to your city, then you should go live in another one. There are other lion turtles? There are other lion turtles? Of course there are! Dozens of them! Okay. Boy, you humans are stupid too! I didn't know either! Mean! So which way to the nearest lion turtle city? I think it's on the other side of none of your business valley. <laughs> Real funny. You know what? I don't need your help. I'll find it myself. Yeah, good for you. Oh, oh. Good luck. <laughs> I don't know what that thing was, but mean. Oh. No, you, know, you gotta let it go. Yeah, let it go. Cat deer. Oh. It's okay. I'm gonna get you out of there. Finally, we caught something. Get it down. Back off. One, what are you doing here? That animal's our dinner. Not anymore. Now get out of the way. No. Good for you. Take care of nature. Juan has good intentions, even if he wanted to initially eat the cat deer. Ooh. Look at him learning about what's going on, too. He knew to skip over that part. Throw that at him. Bugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him off! Ah! Uh, looks like you're all out of tricks, Juan. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I really hate humans. Oh, no. I don't know what he's screaming about. He's better looking now. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of him, whatever you are. I feel great. What's in this water? It has special healing properties. Hmm. Healing water. Interesting. What did you do to that hunter? Spirits are able to take over a human body for a short time. If I stayed in there any longer, I would have killed him, which I did consider. Oh. Okay. Thanks for saving my neck. Why'd you do it? I saw you save the cat deer from those hunters. I've never seen such an act of selflessness from a human before. Oh. Told you I wasn't like the others. <laughs> I want a cat, dear. Are you off to find another lion, Turtle City? I decided to stay here and learn the ways of the spirits. What a great idea. That'll be fun. Yeah. A human living with spirits? First time for everything, right? Hmm. I guess we can try it. I've never had a human as a pet before. It's not a pet. I think I'll call you Stinky. The name is Juan. Stinky is more accurate. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Where are the others? Spirits took them. They were protecting that kid, Juan. He was one of their own. Did you hear that? Juan's still alive. Ah. Uh. Is that the dragon dance? Is it? In the way Juan moves fire, he uses it. It's an extension of his body. You a little something on your chin there, buddy. <laughs> we want to shave that right off. <laughs> well, I'm happy for him. One has proven that with the power of fire, anyone can survive in the wilds. We don't have to live under Chu the Elder's rules anymore. So I say we leave this city and start over. Who's with me? Wait, so is this the start of the Fire Nation? Oh, the Lion Turtle's just giving it to everybody, huh? Oh, he rides the you cat ready to go, deer. Mola? Mola. It's time I see the rest of the world and find the other Lion Turtle cities. I'm proud to call you my friend, Stinky. <laughs> Thank you for everything. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Miss you. So he goes to different lion turtles and gets bending abilities from those lion turtles? How do you know where there's a lion turtle, though? <laughs> Just appeared for Aang. The all powerful spirits are battling! They're gonna wipe out the entire valley! Oh. Wait, you gotta go check on that. <laughs> Oh. Yang and Yang. Stop! Or you'll destroy everything! This doesn't concern you, human! Kinda does. It does when the lives of spirits and animals are dangerous. Yep. If you're a friend to spirits, then use your fire to help me break free. I don't know. Don't involve the human. This is between us. Maybe figure out what it's about. She has tormented me for 10,000 years! 10,000 years? Let him go! But why? Why, why has she tormented him for 10,000 years? Like, what... Is it the balance? The yin and the yang? Is... Thank you, human. You have performed a great service for the spirits. Have you? Did he? Do you realize what you've done? I helped the spirit who was being bullied by you. I was keeping him under control. And what gives you the right? You don't even know who I am, do you? No. My name is Rava. Rava. That spirit you freed is Vatu. He is the force of darkness and chaos. I am the force of light and peace. Since the beginning of time, we have battled over the fate of this world. I have kept darkness under control and the world in balance. Until you came along. By freeing Vatu, I let chaos into the world? Yeah. Precisely. He didn't the mean it. and spirit realms are headed toward annihilation. 
And it's all your fault. Well, that's a bit much. They could have explained that. Rava, I found you. I kind of actually forgot about Korra for a hot second. <laughs> She is connecting with her deepest avatar memories. She must confront her own past if she is to move forward. We can only hope that she survives her ordeal. She will, but I am so curious about this. This is why humans have no place interfering in the business of spirits. This world is home to all of us, yep. and what happens here is everyone's business. Agreed. Thanks to you, this world may cease to exist. Yeah. I only hope I can track down Vatu before it's too late. Let me help you. Well, quit yelling at him and go get Vatu. Don't interfere with me again, human. Let's get moving. Well. Uh... <gasps> Air Nomads! Oh. Do you see that, Mula? People. And they have some kind of wind power. Oh, well, this makes me so happy. More humans. I found you. <laughs> oh. I'm friendly. <laughs> Jeez. Didn't expect them to get scared and scamper off. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Jeez. <sighs> Uh, uh. Oh, lion turtle! Hmm. The legends are true. Another lion turtle city, and it's flying. Oh my gosh! I have got to get over there. <laughs> there. Hi. Okay, Mula. Wish me luck. Oh God, good luck. <laughs> He is a brave man. I'll say that much. Wow. Wow. Uh, oh, God, I love this so much. Hi. How are you? I'm Juan. Where did you come from, stranger? Another lion turtle city. Far away. For the past two years, I've been living among the spirits and exploring the wilds. We would love to hear of your travels. Oh. Oh. Chaos. Very Stranger Things-ish. Oh, God! Although this animation's beautiful. Batu. So, we meet again, human. Interested to know who's doing Batu's voice. Leave these people in peace. They've done nothing to harm you. I got a crush on one. Get him. Well, that didn't take very long. How are you feeling since our split, Raba? I've never been better. When harmonic convergence comes, I will destroy you forever. Well, that's no good. I told you not to interfere. I had to do something. These people were in danger. Great spirit of light, how did you become split from Vatu? Ask him. Uh, he didn't know. He thought he was helping. Vatu tricked me into freeing him. I'd take it all back if I could. Now that Vatu is free, he is turning other spirits dark. The more spirits he turns, the stronger he becomes. As darkness grows, light fades. <sighs> That's heavy. <laughs> I'm sorry for endangering your village, but I promise to set things right. How? Oh. Gotta go talk to the lion turtle. I ask that you grant me the power of air so that I can defeat Vatu before it's too late. No human has ever held two elements at the same time. Well, he'll be the first. I'm not like other humans. I can learn to do it. Perhaps. But to do so, Rava must hold the power for you. Until you master it. Oh. Ancient one, why would I do that for a human? Rava, please. I can't let the world fall into chaos because of my mistake. Neither of us can defeat Vatu alone, but together we have a chance. You may be right. 
I will help you to master the power of air. And in return, I will help you restore balance to the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I get hit with those lines and I just get so overwhelmed with emotion. Harmonic convergence. That is when Vatu and I must battle for the fate of the world. How long do we have until then? About a year in your time. A year till the harmonic convergence. Okay. How's this gonna work? The only way for me to give you the other element is to combine our energies. Great. So you've done this before. No, this has never even been attempted. I was gonna say, I don't think so. It is very dangerous. That's what they said about living in the spirit wilds. And I survived that. I'm ready. Give me the air. <laughs> Give me the air. Oh, wow. <sighs> it feels completely different. Mm hmm. If you and Vatu have the same fight every 10,000 years, why isn't one of you destroyed the other? He cannot destroy light any more than I can destroy darkness. One cannot exist without the other. Yin and Yang. Even if I defeat Vatu in this encounter, darkness will grow inside me until he emerges again. The same will hold true if Vatu defeats me. That doesn't sound so bad. <sighs> Even if Vatu wins, you'll come back. But you will probably not survive to see yeah. it. Yeah. Vatu will destroy the world as you know it. If I'm gonna help you battle Vatu, then I should visit more lion turtles. Why is there so much conflict between humans and spirits in the first place? This physical world is where humans come from. Spirits come from another realm. At the North and South Poles, the two realms intersect. Over time, more and more spirits have drifted into this world. Okay, that explains the North and South Pole and why they're so important. Humans have been forced apart. Settling on the lion turtles and losing touch with each other. Mm. Most people think they live in the only human city in the world. Most humans think only of themselves. True. No matter how many others are around. Very true. I feel like I'm changing. The more we practice, the stronger I become. It smells like smoke. Humans are nearby. Mm. Let's check it out. Destroying something, I'm sure. <laughs> That's what we're good at. A spirit! Easy there, fellas. We're friendly. I can't believe it. Juan? Oh, wow! Jaya! What are you doing out here? You inspired us. Once we heard that you survived out in the wilds, we decided to try it too. Why were you protecting this spirit? This is Rava. Don't worry. She's not like the dark spirits you've probably run into. What's the difference? We throw fire at any spirit we see around here. Oh. Just like they attack any man. You have no idea what you're doing! You're only making things worse! They're just protecting themselves. The spirits are coming back! Let's wipe them out this time! We'll burn down this whole forest if we have to! No! What happened to you? When did you become so violent? Yeah. You showed me we could change the world if we just stopped being so afraid. Now we're doing it. But you're destroying this things. This is what I had in mind. Yeah. Oh, it's your friends! Get out of the forest, humans! Wait! We can resolve this peacefully. Stinky? <laughs> you have a good heart, Stinky. These fire tossers aren't like you. Spirits like him killed our friends. I can't let them get away with that. Oh boy, here it comes chaos. Vatu, Vatu, Vatu. <laughs> oh wow. We are protectors of the forest. It's Vatu. He's growing stronger. Yeah. Using their anger to turn them to his side. <laughs> And then Stop! Please! Rava! We need to combine our energies! Maybe they will have enough power to stop this! Avatar State! Enough! You need to stop fighting now! Before you destroy each other! Uh -huh. Ooh, what happened? He's controlling all four elements. Sure is! One. I have to leave your body or I'll destroy you. It's working. If you leave, the fighting will start again. <sighs> we have to go back. Oh. Vatu is scary. 
Your human friends have already been annihilated. See you at the end of the world. Oh, Rafa. She's so tiny. Maybe her being smaller is good because then she can go into Juan. I keep really wanting to push the Avatar state. I really want to figure out how we get there. I was wrong about you, Juan. I had no idea that humans were capable of such nobility and courage. <laughs> I'm sorry that we do not have much more time together. Let's not give up before the battle's even begun. Yeah. Who knows what will happen? After all, this is my first harmonic convergence. <laughs> Your first time's the most special, isn't it? <laughs> this is the southern portal to the spirit world. Here, Vatu and I will do battle once again. Wow. This is wild. Are you ready for our final battle, Rafa? I think this time I may be rid of you once and for all. Before you get to her, you'll have to go through me. No human can stand against me. Oh, yeah? I'm not a regular human anymore. God, I did not have the Legend of the First Avatar on my bingo card for what I was going to watch today, and I am not disappointed. I lived 10,000 lifetimes before the first of your kind crawled out of the mud. It was I who broke through the divide that separated the plane of spirits from the material world. Oh. To hate me is to give me bread. To fight me is to give me strength. Now prepare to face oblivion! Wow. That's intense. Rava! The only way to win is together! This is so amazing. I'm so happy that this looks like a completely different show, but it still has all the elements that we absolutely love. Come on, Juan. If I stay any longer, you will die. It doesn't matter. If you leave me now, Batu will destroy everything. We have to finish this together. <sighs> I mean, obviously he wins, but like, does Juan die and then is reincarnated and the Avatar cycle starts? The harmonic convergence is about to begin. The era of Rava is over. that what Korra opened? The spirits must stop fighting with humans and return to their home in the spirit world. I will teach men to respect the spirits so that balance will be maintained. 
gave him respect. I will be the bridge between our two worlds. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> the world is entering a new age. Our time protecting mankind is over. We will no longer give humans the power of the elements. This is my mission, to use Rava's light spirit to guide the world toward peace. I'm sorry, Rava. I failed to bring peace. Even with Vatu locked away, the darkness still surrounds humanity. There wasn't enough time. Don't worry. We will be together for all of your lifetimes. <laughs> and we will never give up. <laughs> this is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you remember now? I remember. Good. <laughs> Do you know who you are? My name is Cora. I'm the Avatar. <laughs> We've been raising this herd of air bison since the Hundred Year War. I never thought I'd be able to present one to the Avatar. She gets an air bison? You do not have much time left. The harmonic convergence is only weeks away. Another one? I have to close the spirit portal before that happens. Oh my god, she has an air bison! <laughs> <gasps> oh crap! I want to watch more. <laughs> Should I? Should I? Should I? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Not right now, but soon. <laughs> the credits went by so quickly. Let's see. One voiced by Steven Yoon. I would know that man's voice anywhere. Miss J.K. Simmons, but Steven Yoon! Oh my god! Oh my god, some of my favorite episodes of The Legend of Korra didn't have much of Korra. <laughs> but I will say that like learning the background on the first Avatar and how he came to be and the lion turtles. Oh, wow. Oh wow, that was so powerful. That was so powerful in the Convergence and Vatu. And Rava, I didn't, I, I just like had like a little bit of a glitch there where I just was like caught in my own. So first thing I'll say is that the introduction of Vatu and, and Rava, Spirit World, Juan, it's interesting that Juan's world started out with a very different type of animation um, where everything like, and I don't know if it was meant to look like, I don't want to say like archaic animation, but it was meant to look different than New Age animation or even the animation that we're getting in Korra, which is newer than what we got in Avatar. And so it would make sense that the animation that we get with Juan would look very different. But the lion turtles, not only are they gorgeous, but like like the bending looked so different. It looked so different. It's wild. I loved it. I loved it. I loved the history lesson that we got here and just what a beautiful person Juan was. Like, I wasn't great about him stealing the fire from the lion turtle, but I was kind of happy with what he was doing with it, which was to feed people. And while, you know, yes, it was not what it was intended for. And, and yes, it was considered stealing it was for the greater good and it was for a more noble reason than just having power. Um, he was utilizing it to help those who were in need. And I, I think that, that that was recognized by the lion turtle, even when he was banished. He's like, yes, you keep that power. And the spirit world treating him that way and then seeing that like even though they hate humans, that there was a good human. And I know he was hungry and I know he wanted to eat the cat deer, but the fact that he didn't, and then he utilized all the things in the spirit world, like the grass that would like swallow a person and the insects that were part of like the fruity looking thing, you know, that like he was willing to use nature to defeat humans and that being recognized by the spirits and them wanting to help. 
Um, I still don't know what that spirit was per se. I would, it would be silly of me to even guess. <laughs> but I, I do like that then they recognize that there is like good humans in the world. Now, obviously the other firebenders that decided to leave the city that asked the lion turtle for the powers to survive in the spirit world, um, you know, some of them didn't make it. And of course, you know, that would make you angry and bitter. And that kind of reminded me a little bit of Jet, which was interesting. Um, and and I, I, I love that, like, I don't, I don't want to say I love that fight still continues of like the spirits being in the human world. And I don't know necessarily what Onalak's like thing. I don't know if he wants to free Vatu. I hope not because obviously if he's going into the spirit world, he's there for a reason. And I don't know why he'd want to free Vatu if he's trying to make all of the angry spirits go away or if he's I don't know, trying to unlock some sort of power to create harmony again. And, and maybe that's what Onalak wants to do. Um, and that's like just crazy. Now, I don't know if now she knows she can't go to the south necessarily to close it from there or if she goes to the north to try to close it from there. And that's what Onalak wants to have happen. But the fact that now she knows that Rava is inside of her and is inside every avatar, um, now it makes sense why the lion turtle came to Aang. You know, when Aang was looking for that answer of like, he didn't want to have to kill. And, and I am very much a person that I wouldn't want to make that choice either. And I would love for there to be another alternative. And it's funny how other shows I'm watching kind of bleed into other shows that I'm watching because I just watched an episode of a show where they're talking about genocide and how like that would be um, a way to solve all the answers for human survival and how like I'm very much not on that side. And even though I don't agree with the other side, I don't want to be on the side that kills. I don't want that to to be the mark that it leaves on my human, I don't want to say spirit, but like, like I, I don't think I could live with that. And I don't think that Aang could live with that and like really go against his culture. And for the lion turtle to appear to him and give him the answer was just so beautiful. And I love that they're incorporated in the first avatar. And it makes total sense why there would be no record of him because it was 10,000 years before everything. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, what a piece of world building we got. You know, a lot of people told me to stick with season two, and I was never going to quit. But they said, like, it has some of the best world building. And I was like, I don't know, the North and South, Onalak and Tonrock, and I just, I don't know. But yes, this is probably mm, one of my favorite pieces of Avatar, whether it was Korra or ATLA. It, this is one of my favorite stories, the fact that I was so connected to Juan. And I know that that has to do because of Aang and because of the history. And I'm pretty sure that Juan, when he was practicing the firebending with the dragon, that he was doing the dragon dance. Right? That's what I saw, right? Confirm in comments. Um, <laughs> it was just so beautiful. Oh my god, it revived my energy after the last two stinker episodes that I wasn't really a fan of. <laughs> These two, amazing. Oh my gosh, this was beautiful. Ugh. And I have such a total crush on Juan. Total. It's so, so funny. It's so funny. And it's, it's funny that it's a very noble person. It's somebody who has a kind, loving heart that just wants to do the right thing. And yes, that is very much a Captain America. That is, that is very much, you know, you're, 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 I mean... Yes, it's an Aang thing. I was going to say, like, I wish that was kind of Zuko, but that was Zuko at the end. You know, it's just. Man, I am so energized by these two episodes. And if in the next episode I am wearing the same thing or I have the same eye makeup, it's because I watched it immediately after I watched this, because now I'm excited to see where the story goes. I don't think we're getting something like this ever again in this in in this series because i think this is a once in a lifetime like chunk of episodes and boy was it beautiful boy was it wonderful and it just energized me completely i feel like i could run around the block and i'm not expecting going into the next episodes with with the same thing but definitely um i feel like cora might have a better understanding of not only her power 
but who came before her. And I love that she like met Roku, that that she met Kyoshi, because that's my girl. Oh my god, I love her. Uh, and then I always forget Kar Kirkuk? Kar Kar we only met him one time before, so it's fair that I don't really remember his name. Um, and but we didn't get the the previous Airbender, uh, Wing Chen. You'd think I'd have more respect for the avatars that I'd remember their names. It's just Kyoshi was there. My heart went a flutter, and <laughs> like I love me some Roku, but like Kyoshi, I want to sit down with that girl and spill some tea. We we need to have a we we need to have a long conversation about her life. And I know that there's novels that I need to read, and I really do. And and I would really like to get into that at some point. Um, my Christmas break started today from work so i will have some time so if i can get my hands on those little suckers i'm gonna read them <laughs> but guys if you want to watch the full-length reaction to these episodes it will be available on my patreon as well it's a four episodes early that is two reactions but in the meantime like subscribe and leave a comment down below what did you think of Juan? i love him i love him i love him it doesn't help that steve yoon also voiced him. And now that I know that at the end, it makes me love him even more. But like, I was totally immersed, totally just, oh, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. And it's really interesting that the first Avatar started out as a firebender. <laughs> Wait, what is the cycle? Yeah, the cycle in which he got his powers is actually the cycle in which the Avatar goes. So it was fire his first one, and then he got air because he met the air nomads, and then water, and then earth. So the next avatar will be an air nomad. That's interesting. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. I love that so much. And like, and like Kava, like, you know, recognize, or Kava, <laughs> that is a tea. That is a very fun tea. <laughs> if you if you don't take my word, but don't, don't, don't do it if you can't handle it. But anyway, Rava, uh, like for her to just be like, I didn't know a human could have that much compassion and, 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 and be that noble. That's amazing. Oh, people gonna learn. People gonna learn. And I hope that, I'm not saying that I hope that Cora has changed from this, but I hope that she has grown from it and that she understands better like what an avatar really is. It's not just a fighter. It, the spirit world for her is so important for her to understand and be part of and grow with how important it was for for one to become part of the spirit world and and be accepted by them and like just, I know that that's been lacking in her, and I hope she understands just how important it is. And I'm looking forward to the rest of this journey, I think. I hope. My God, girl, get it together. I'm talking to me and Cora, really, because <laughs> I was very touched by that last episode, and I'm so energized. I might I might just go change my shirt, and uh, because we have to change it for the thumbnail. We can't be wearing the same thing. Um, but yeah, if, if uh, you're still seeing green eye makeup, hopefully that goes with whatever I'm wearing in the next reaction if I decide to watch it. If not, Nathaniel, <laughs> do the thing. <laughs> Guys, I'll see you in the next two. Later.